All right, two thumbs up if you can hear me. All right, thank you guys. All right, perfect. Hi everyone. You guys ready for class? Yes, no? Maybe so? All right, so Charles looks ready. He has his gloves, he has his belt, he has his pants. Thank God, right? T-shirt, everything, you look great. All right, and looks like the sharp boys are looking sharp. See what I did there? And let me see here. Uh, yeah, it's Emily all set to go. We have Stevie all set to go. Colin, what's up, bud? Hello. All right. So let me just get my belt on and then we'll get started. I'm just going to give everyone a few minutes to log in because we have a new password. I just want to make sure that everyone can get in. Hi, I just missed your call. Sorry. Yes, so the, the uh, actually in case there's security measures, I can give you the password right now. It is uh, 01388866. No, no worries. Sorry about that. Alrighty. So one more. All right. Awesome. You guys look great. Hey, Sebastian. Hey, Maya. It's nice to see you guys. How you doing? Good? All right. So looks like everyone's logged in. Just want to give everyone a couple more minutes to make sure that we don't have any more. You know, the password can be kind of hard to figure out sometimes. All right. So while we're waiting, I'm just going to quickly talk about some cool stuff. Now, I know that you guys have seen on Facebook, that we have a cool rewards program and everything. And I have really good news for you guys. We got our sticker sheets. We got those in today or the other day. We also got our bracelets in. So the rewards are, are slowly coming in. Okay, we have our dog tags on the way too. And I believe the t-shirts are currently being made. So we put an order for those and everything is coming in. We have our reward system coming. So at the end of next week, guys, when we get our brand new speed stripe and we have our brand new, um, brand new belts and everything, we are going to um, mail those out for you guys. So you don't, we, I don't think we're gonna have to pick them up. We'll send them out to you guys. Does that make sense? And get your awesome rewards package, okay? Very cool. So um, before we get started again, let me just go over, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. So, whoops. I have the um, schedule for the next couple of weeks. So, drive test was supposed to be last week, but we didn't, we weren't able to get our care packages out to you guys until um, this, this past weekend. So, if you didn't pick up your care package, just make sure that your, your family is um, either messaging us or messaging them. We're trying to call it like that picture, but it looks good. Nice job. Um, so when we just make sure, Hannah, what are you doing, man? That's crazy. All right. So um, make sure that you guys are in communication with us just to make sure that we're getting your package out. If you did get your package, don't open it just yet. Okay. If you did open it, it's no big deal. I know we had a couple of kids break their boards already. Like Colin, I saw that you broke your board, bud. It looked awesome. Did you th break your board with your kick? Yes. Okay. And you got your new belt. There you go. All right. So, um, don't open them just yet, but if you already did, it's no big deal. And I know that we have our speed stripe test coming up next week, as well as our belt graduation. And we'll have more information coming out about all that stuff. So um, let's get started. Are you guys ready to work on some speed today? Yes, ma'am. All right, so let's hop in our feet team. We're gonna get started with a quick warm up. Now for your test, okay, so for your stripe test for next week, you guys have to know two types of speed, okay? You have to know reaction speed, which is when your eyes or your senses tell your brain to move your body. Okay, so that's reaction speed. And relative speed is how fast you guys can move from the start to the finish, okay? Or how fast you start and finish a job. So if your mom tells you to brush your teeth and it takes you five minutes to get to the bathroom and start brushing your teeth, it might be a little long. But if uh, your parents tell you to brush your teeth and you go, yes, mom, and you run to the bathroom and you start brushing your teeth right away, that's better relative speed. Okay, team? So really quick, let's get started. So hands up, feet up two. Good job, and feet together, set. Nice job, take a big bow. Very good, all right. So we're gonna work on 20 jumping jacks. Okay, team? So for these ones, I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see my whole body. For these ones, team, first we're gonna do little tiny mini ones. Okay, so we're working on our relative speed. 
we're trying to go really, really fast to 20 mini jumping jacks. And then we're going to work on going, using our whole body to make really big movements, really big motions. Okay, team? So 20 mini jumping jacks. You can either just move your feet if you want, you can move your hands a little bit, it's up to you. Okay, team, ready? 20 and begin. Nice job, guys. All right, very good. Give yourself a big high five. Or give your partner a high five if you have one. All right, team. So also, we're going to do nice and slow jumping jacks. So for these ones, team, I'm not worried about how fast you go. I want to see really big motions. Okay, team, you guys ready? And begin. Ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, team, nice job. So hand find your back for me, quick, quick. Very good, let me see who's being super, super self-controlled. CV looks good, nice job, and nice. We've got Colin, all right team. So for our next warm up, you guys have two stuffed animals or two pillows or any two objects that can go on the floor. Uh, we're gonna use those to try to help us out with our next drill. So we'll give you guys a couple seconds to set that up. It can be anything, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be soft, you don't need to stand on it or anything. All right. All right, team. So once you have your two objects set up, just needs to be any two objects. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You're gonna put them kind of, kind of far apart. Okay, team. So I have one pad over here. I have another pad over here, and I want you guys to stand right in the middle. Okay, team. And I want you guys to put your hands right behind your back. I'm going to explain our next warm-up drill. Very good. All right. So this drill team, we're going to work on snap. Okay, the snap of our technique. Now a snap team, if you think about the literal finger snap, it's really quick. It's lightning fast. Okay, when we use our relative speed and our reaction speed, that's what kind of creates the snap. So if you think of when you snap a punch out, you don't just leave it out there. It comes right back. Okay, teams, you're going to go just like this when you snap your technique out. For this drill team, you're going to have side A or side B. Okay, team, now when I say side A, we're all going to go to the same side and then right back. And then when I say side B, we're all going to go to this side and we're going to come right back. Okay, team, now in the middle, I'm sorry, not in the middle, but when we get to our one side, we're going to throw one kick and then three punches and then we go back. And then if I say side A again, we go back to that side, we throw a kick, three punches, and then we're right back in the middle. Okay, team, so a snap, when you snap your technique out, it has to go all the way out, and then all the way back to its beginning. Does that make sense, team? Yes, ma'am? All right, Emily's giving me the thumbs up, I like it. All right, team, so, hands up. In our awesome kickboxing stance, very good. All right, so, ready? So we're gonna shadow box just a little bit. So you can move your feet, stay nice and light, start bouncing a little bit, and side B, so go to your side, and throw one kick, three strikes, and then right back. Nice job, guys. Very good. All right, ready again. Ready, side B. Three strikes. Awesome. Good job, everybody. Good, Sam. All right, and side A. Nice job, guys. Right back to the middle. Good. All right, side B. Nice job. And then right back. Nice job, guys. Good work. All right, and ready, side A. Nice team. Side A. Nice job, guys. Very good. Side A. And then right back. Good job, Em. All right, and freeze. Nice job, guys. All right, hands behind your back for me. Click, click. Very good. All right, team. So, next thing, we're going to talk about our push ups. Okay, guys, so our push ups, we're going to do 10 little mini ones. Now, for the push ups, we can't really, we don't really have enough. Um, we can't really snap our push-ups. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of take our time on these ones. But our 10 mini push-ups, you're gonna get down in push-up position just like this. And you're gonna bend your elbows a little bit, you're gonna come back up. So it's almost like a pulse push-up. Okay, teams, everyone down in push-up position for me. 
Very good. All right, team, ready? 10 pulsing push ups. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job, guys. All right. Come back up for me. Very good. All right, team, hands behind your back. Click, click. All right, for our next drill, we're going to work on our squats. Okay, team? So I'm going to have my hands up just like this. You guys don't try it yet. Just have your hands behind your back for me. Right, Colin? I see it, but oh, thank you. Good job. So I'm going to have my hands up for my squat team. We're going to do one giant squat, and then we're going to snap a kick out. We're going to do one giant squat, then snap a kick out. All right, team? So squat position, hands up just like this. Let me see it. Very good. All right, ready? We're going to do, we'll do um, five on each side. So 10 squats total. Ready? Go. So we squat down, kick. Other side. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, team, shake your legs out. Good job. All right, next thing, our last exercise for today, we're going to work on our belly muscles. Okay, so for this one, team, everyone stand hands behind your back just like this while I explain the exercise and then it's going to be your turn. So make sure you guys are all sitting super still. Very good. All right. So for the next drill team, we're going to do 10 heels to the heavens. So your toes are going to be way up in the air. You're going to sit down on your hands and all you have to do is bring your toes a little bit higher. Okay. So when you're sitting on your hands team for a split second, your butt should be off of your hands just like this. Okay team. So let's try it out. So everyone lie down for me. Very good. All right, so we're going to do 10 of these. Ready? And begin. So I should see all the toes. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, Charles. Good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job, team. All right, grab a drink of water for me. Make sure you guys have your kickboxing gloves on, and then we'll get right back to work. Good job, guys. All right. All right, team. So, oops. let me grab some water first. You guys ready to do some awesome kickboxing drills? Charles looks ready. I like it. All right. So, let me let me do this. I need everybody to stand. Stand up on your feet for me. Let's make sure that we're not sleeping on the job. I'm looking at you, Andrew. There we go. Good job. You too, Daniel. That's right. All right. So, hands behind your back for me. Right behind your belt. Very good. All right. Yeah, you too, Anna. No sleeping on the job. You sleeping? No? Okay, good. All right, team. So, when we use our snap technique, like I said before, it's all about going super fast and the super fast back. Okay, if I just leave my technique out there, if I threw an awesome punch towards you guys and just left it, that'd be kind of silly, right? Absolutely, okay? So if I do it really fast, it's almost like you didn't even see it. Before you know it, you get punched and then it's craziness. Okay, team, so we're gonna work on this with our uh, kickboxing drill that we've been working on. Okay, so we're gonna do our big front kick, three strikes, and then if you guys do an awesome job doing it super fast with that, then I'm gonna throw my kick towards you and you guys have to defend it, okay? So everybody, make sure you guys have plenty of space. You can get into your awesome kickboxing stance. All right. So when I say go, okay, team, actually, let's do this. Let's do this instead. I'm going to hold this pad up. All right, now, your job, as soon as you see the pad hit the ground, your job is to snap your foot out there before the pad hits. So as soon as you see the pad drop, you kick before it hits the ground. Now, if you leave your kick out there, is that a very good kick? You just, might, your balance might be good, but your kick might not be that great. So before the pad hits the ground, it has to come out and back down and hit the ground. Does that make sense, team? Yes, ma'am? A mine and Sebastian look ready. They're shadow boxing it out. I love it. All right, team. So I'm going to hold this pad up here. Everyone see it? All right, ready? Let me see those kicks. Nice job, guys. That was perfect. All right, so before the pad hits the ground, ready? 
Nice job. All right, let me move this in here with you guys. Make sure you see it again. All right. Ready? Oh, there you go. That was a good one. Nice job, guys. All right, ready? And, oh, I faked you all out. I got you. All right, ready? Nice job. Good work. All right. Good job, Stevie. That was the right one. Nice job, bud. All right, last kick, and then we're going to move on. Ready? I'm watching you, Maya. Yes, good job, guys. All right, so next thing. All right, now, if I come towards you guys and I start striking, your job is to try to kick me before my punches come towards you or come towards the camera. So I'm way back here. Okay, team, we're going to pretend that we're all in a sparring match. So everyone hands up for me just like this. Very good. Now, here's the drill. If I step towards you guys, you have to throw your kick, your big front kick, before I start punching at you. Does that make sense, Dean? Yes, ma'am? All right, perfect. So, hands up. Ready? Your job is just to throw your kick before I start punching. Stevie, I saw that. Nice job, bud. Good work. All right, ready? Hands up. Let's try that again. So, I move towards you. I start striking. Yes, Amaya. Good kick. Good work. All right, team. Ready? My hands are up. Good job, guys. That was awesome. All right, let me see. Who am I watching? I'm watching Andrew and Daniel. You guys ready? All right. Nice kick, guys. Excellent. All right, last one. Ready? Good job. Awesome speed, guys. Very good. All right, so when we do our techniques team, if you just do one strike in a sparring match, okay, now that's pretty good. If you can nail one strike, that's awesome. But what if I did four strikes? Is that even better? Absolutely. Okay, so here's what we're going to do next. This time, team, you guys have to defend. I'm going to kick towards you. All you have to do is you're going to take your elbow and you're going to put it right in front of your belly button. Because when I'm kicking towards you, if we were in a real life sparring match, if I was kicking towards you, I'm aiming right for your belly button. So all you have to do, you're going to take your elbow, you're going to hide your belly button. And you're going to come back up. Okay, team, so let's try that out. Ready? Hands up. Very good. Hands up, hands up. All right, so everyone's going to take their elbow, just hide your belly button with it. That's the one. And then you come right back up. All right, so ready, Charles? Let me see it. Your hands are up, right, bud? All right, ready? Hide it. Nice job. Right now, this time, I'm going to kick towards you guys. That's going to be your cue to hide your belly button. Ready? Nice one, Amaya. Good job. All right, ready? Good. Very good. Yes, nice job, guys. All right, last one. Ready? Oh, I got you. All right, ready? Yeah, so we're not kicking right now, though. We're just going to hide our belly button. Right, Stevie? All right, ready? Hands up, bud. Let me see it one more time. So when I kick towards you, all you got to do, Steve, move your, move your elbow in the way. Ready? Yes, much better. Give me a virtual high five, Stevie. Very good. All right, so hands up. And this time, team, you're going to finish off with some extra strikes, okay? So like I said, if you can defend it once, that's awesome. But now I might be still coming towards you with other strikes. So you have to punch first. So this time, team, I'm going to kick towards you. You're going to defend it, but then you're going to do three, any three strikes. Okay, any three strikes that you guys want to do. You can throw a jab, cross, hook. You can throw a cross, hook, uppercut, whatever you guys want to do. All right, team, so ready? Hands up. And when I kick towards you, first you defend it. And then as I'm coming back down, what do you got to do? Yes, Colin, good job. You just got to throw some strikes. That's right, bud. Good work. All right, ready? Do that again. Hands up. Oh, nice uppercut, Steve. All right, ready? Nice job. I love it. All right, very good. Last one. Ready? Yes, good job, Kaylee. That was good. Excellent. All right, team. Give yourself a big high five. All right, team. Grab some water, and then when we come back, we're going to play a quick game. Okay, team. So actually, before we play our game, we're going to talk about courage. Okay, team. So finish up getting your water. We're going to come back. We'll talk about some courage. All right. So for those of you who haven't really been um, coming to class as much, we've been talking about courage a lot. 
And courage is really just being brave enough to do things that are good for you, even if it's hard. Okay, team? So we're going to play, play a little courage game. Now I need everybody to either lock it up like Miss Emily's doing. Great job, Emily. Or stand with your hands right behind your back for me. Just like Kaylee. Good job. All right. So we got, we got all these focused kids. I love it. You guys ready for black belt training or what? I think so. I think you guys are looking awesome. All right. So um, when we, oh, Charles, you got to stay still though, man. Let me see that face. There you go. Good job. All right. So this time team, when we talk about courage, I'm going to give you guys a scenario and you're either going to tell me if it's hard for you or bad or easy for you. And you're going to tell me if it's good or bad. Okay. So let's say you guys have a really big test or you have a lot of homework due um, and you get up super, super early to either study for your test or to finish your homework. Okay, you gotta get up really, really early. Is that hard? It's hard to get up early, right? Absolutely, but is it good for you or is it bad for you? It's good, right? Absolutely, okay, so doing your homework and making sure that your, your brain is ready for your test and for school, that's a very good thing for you. Okay, you're gonna be ready for the day. Now, what if, um, let me say, all right, how about you, um, there's a new kid in karate class or there's a new kid at school and no one is talking to him or her. No one's talking to them. But you go over there and you introduce yourself and you make a new friend. Is that hard sometimes? It's hard, right? Absolutely. But is it good or bad? You're being a good friend, right? Being a good person? And are you a good person? Always, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. So um, how about, let me see here. Let's say that you guys, oh, I have a good one. You have to apologize to somebody because you did something wrong and they got mad. Even though it's embarrassing, you go over there and you apologize anyway. Is that hard? Has anyone ever apologized for something super embarrassing? All the time, right? And is it good for you or is it bad for you? Which one? It's bad for you to apologize? Oh, okay. All right. Whew. You guys scared me on that one. Very good. All right. So I'm glad that you guys are. So all these things, even though it's hard, as long as you know that it's good for you, that's courage. And you do it anyway. That's courage. Okay, team? So we talked about being red or orange or yellow last week. Do you remember the, the scenarios that we gave you last week? All right, very good. So just stuff like that. You just got to think of what would, what would a dragon do or what would somebody super courageous do? And then you got to do it. All right, team? So um, let me go over some of the announcements that we have coming up. We're really, really excited because we have our Stripe tech test next week. So our stripe test, you guys have to know two things of speed. All right. Oh, you already got yours, Colin. Very good. So not only for your, for your martial arts test, you have to know your reaction speed and your relative speed. Okay. So if you know reaction speed is what? When you use your eyes to tell your brain, very good, to tell your body to move, right? Right, Hannah? All right, cool. So um, that is reaction speed. Relative speed is what? How fast you go from the start to the finish, okay, team? So how fast you finish a job, that's, that's, what, that's what relative speed is. Now for your belts, if you, if you have your brand new belt, that's awesome. If you don't have your brand new belt on just yet, um, to get your belt test or to get your next belt, we have to know what snap is, okay? So really just lightning fast strikes, okay? Going all the way out, all the way back as quick as you can. Lightning fast like a snap. Okay, team, does that all make sense to you? Yes, ma'am? All right, so next week we're gonna work on our, our speed test. So make sure that you guys are doing super good at home because who's really in charge of giving you your stripe? It's not me. Who is it? Family, right? Absolutely, okay, so you gotta make sure you're really impressing them because you can impress me. You can tell me what reaction speed and relative speed are, but if you're not doing a great job at home, does that mean that you deserve your stripe? You guys are all great kids, so I know that you guys, you guys will be just fine. All right, team? Um, if you guys have any questions at all, of course, you can always have your parents either call or text me or whatever. And um, we're also doing our belt ceremony, I believe, next week. Okay, so also, do you guys like to dress up like superheroes? Yeah, me too. You don't? All right, well, you don't have to, but you can, you can dress up like a superhero during the week of April 27th. The week before that, the week of April 20th, you can dress up in your favorite sports jersey or whatever, and we're going to teach you flying kicks and everything. And the cool part about uh, the superhero week, too, is that it's board breaking week. Okay, so you guys get to decorate the boards that came in your care packages, and we'll teach you how to break them. Does that, does that sound good to you, team? Yes, ma'am? 
All right, so I need Miss Hannah and Colin. If you guys can grab your nunchucks and bring it right back, bring them right back. Okay, we're gonna work on our nunchuck form. And everybody else, give me a big virtual high five. You guys did so good today. All right, you guys are good to go. I'm gonna unmute everybody so we can say goodbye. Bye. 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 Colin, what's your favorite move to do with your nunchuck? Let me see it. Ooh, I like it. You look like a helicopter. Hang on, I can't hear you, bud. Say that again. You I, I like to spin and spin. That's my favorite one. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Do you get super dizzy doing it? You get dizzy? Nope, never. <laughs> I never get dizzy. Ever, ever? Yeah. Never, <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> we got a little excited by the bag that Auntie Lindsay dropped off, so that's why we have our belts and everything. <laughs> we, were we, were having a very, we were having a very rough day that day, so it helped, actually. I got really excited. I wanted to... <laughs> And I also saw the bracelet. Everything came out. And first we blew up the balloons. And my brother took the arrow, the black, the both of the black balloons. <laughs> There's a hole in the green balloon, though. That's okay. 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 All right, team. So our job, right, we already know 31 moves. Okay, which is super easy. We already know 31 moves. We've been over, we've been doing them a lot. Now, we're going to try to get to 41 moves. Okay, now for your test team, I would like to see you guys learning all 31 moves, but it's really, we want to we want to teach you 41 because if you know all 41 points, nice nunchucks, saying I like them. If you know all 41 moves, I mean, that means that you guys can get up to 40 points extra on your reward system. Okay, team, so let's do this. I need everybody to put your nunchuck in your favorite hand. Other hand's going to be put away, just like this. Very good. All right, so nunchuck's going to go on top of your shoulder. This is our starting point, okay? So this is our where we start all of our all of our moves. Right, for you, Colin? All right, ready? So very first move, we're going to do all 31 first, and then we'll learn the new stuff. Sound good? Yes, ma'am? All right, so ready? Inside for one. Outside for two. Across for three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good job. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Good. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty-four, twenty-five. And good job, Hannah, 26. Very good. Now, let go with that hand. This one's gonna go right on top of your shoulder again. Very good. That's right, Colin, good job. Now put it on top of your shoulder. Good, all right, now we're gonna do our next set of moves. So we've already done 26. Okay, now we gotta do our next combo. So we're gonna go down to our other hip, then back up to our shoulder. That's right, Hannah. And then we're gonna go down to our same hip, up to our shoulder, back down to our hip. Good, now we're gonna catch it. Catch the nunchuck. Who knows what's next? Big punch, right? Absolutely good job, Hanny. I saw that. Good job. So you just punched it out. All right, so good job. All right, where's your nunchuck, though? Okay, punch out with your nunchuck. You have it? All right, there we go. Good job. All right, so next. Ready? Let's do that two more times. We're going to break them up by combo. Ready? So hand away for me. All right, so we go inside for one, outside for two, three, four, Five. That's combo number one. Number six, the spin is the start of combo two. 
So we spin around. Nice job. Eight, nine, ten. That's combo two. All right, now we already have two combos down, so we're looking good. Next, 11, 12. Nice, Hannah. 13, let me see it, Colin. 14, 15. 16, 17, 18. 19. That's right, good job, 20. 21, 22, 23. 24, 25, 26. 27, 20, or I'm sorry, this is 27. That was my fault. 27, 28. Nice, Anna. And then 29. You okay, Colin? Come back. 30. And then we're going to catch it. 31. That's the one. All right, ready? Colin, I'm going to teach you some new moves. You ready, bud? I want to teach you some new stuff. All right, Hannah, you ready for new stuff? You sure? Can get a thumbs up? Ready, Colin? All right, whoops. All right, so after we punch it out, okay, team, we're gonna punch it out nice and strong. Now, do you guys remember the wag the tail from six and set, move six and seven in our eight count from Kali stick? Do you guys remember that? Yes, no, maybe so? A little bit? So six and seven, when we think about the Kali stick eight count, all right, we went one, two, three, four, five is the poke, and we did six and seven for a wag for number, for the eight count, I mean. Okay, team? So right after we use our strong punch, after we catch our nunchucks, this is where we're going to start, team. I need everyone punching it out nice and strong. Here we go. You too, Colin. Let me see it. Yeah, there you go. Big punch. Nice job. All right. So from here, team, you're going to let go. So you have one dangling. There you go. And you're going to bring it to your other shoulder. So it's going to go across this way and then across to your other shoulder. Nice job. All right. Now, you're gonna use your nunchuck side. You're gonna turn so that the nunchuck is closest to me, so closest to the camera. Keep it on your shoulder for me. There you go. And we're gonna do two big circles. Okay, so <laughs> there's chaos over there. So instead of going, um, I'm sorry. So you're gonna take your nunchuck, you're gonna do two big circles. So you're gonna go one, two. There you go, Hannah. All right, let me see it, Colin. Two really big circles right in front of you. There you go, that's the one, but give me a virtual high five. That's the one. Good job. All right, so this time on the second on the second circle, second circle, we go one, two, as it comes back around, we're gonna catch it. Okay, did you catch a hand I can't see? There you go, good job. So you're gonna go one big circle, another big circle, and you're gonna catch it. That's the one. All right, so this one's difficult. So it looks like this team. I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see me. You're gonna go all the way, one, two, catch. Yes, Hannah, nice. Give me a virtual high five, everybody. That was good, Colin, nice job. All right, team, so after we catch, yes. After we catch, we're here. You hold it out nice and strong for me. Let me see you, Colin. Good job, bud, I'm proud of you. Oh, hang on, that's not strong. Ready, way out here, Colin. There you go, thanks, bud. Now let go with your favorite hand. We had to do six, we had to do the wag on the other side now. Okay, so we're gonna wag for number like 50 or whatever, and wag to the other side. Good, turn and face the other way this time. So you want your nunchuck closest? Yeah, there you go. You're gonna go one, two, big catch again. Nice, you're gonna put them together. Set. Go ahead, Colin, big bow. Us. Love it. Nice job, guys. So we just did 41 moves. Now, if you don't know all of those just yet, are you in big giant trouble? Nope. Okay, team, I just want to see how many you guys can do. This is how you are your best. Okay, now, if, uh, if Hannah knows 10 moves, but Colin knows all of them, am I going to give Hannah, am I going to give Hannah a hard time about it? No. Is Hannah not going to be able to get her stripe? No, she'll, she'll get her stripe. Okay, so I don't want you guys to worry about not, I just realized you can't really see my face. I don't want you guys to worry about not knowing the moves as long as you guys are trying your best. Can I get a thumbs up for that? Sound good? All right, team. So, let's see how much time we have. Oh, we got like five minutes. Okay, cool. So, one last, one last time. Okay, team, let's just work on the last few moves. All right, so after we did move number 31, we're punching it out nice and strong. All right, so I'm not gonna start till everyone's punching it out though. 
There we go. Thanks, guys. Good job, Hannah. Let me see you, Colin. Big punch out. I got to do this with you, bud. All right, next. So we're going to drop one nunchuck, so it's kind of doing a little dangle thing. And we're going to bring it to our opposite shoulder for 32, 33. Good. And then you're going to turn so that your nunchuck is closest to me. There you go. We're going to do two big circles. So we go one, two, big catch at the end. Nice, Hannah. And then you're going to hold it out nice and strong for me. Let go. Excellent. Now we got to do the same thing on the other side. We go wag one, wag two, turn and face the other way. Yes. And then we go one, two, make sure you catch it. Good. And then nice and strong, throw them together. There you go. And then set. And down. Good job. All right. One last time. We're going to do those last 10 moves again. All right, ready? So punch out nice and strong. Let me see you guys. Very good. All right, so we're going to let go. So we're only holding on to one. This is number 32. 33. Good. And now we're going to turn 34. Good. And then 35 and punch out. Good. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we wag 36, 37, turn, 38, catch it. That's the one. 39, put them together, 40, and 41. Nice job, guys. All right, so the last 10 moves might be, might be pretty easy, but when we put them together with all the other moves, it might get kind of complicated. So. Our job, we're gonna try to do all 41 moves right now. Okay, we're gonna try to do it twice. We got three more minutes left of class, and then we'll see how we'll see how we do. Okay, so two more times. You guys ready to do the super lightning fast? Yes, ma'am, no ma'am. Awesome. All right, team. So not checking your favorite hand, ready? On top of your shoulder. Go, go, go. Nice job. All right, ready? Move number one, move number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Nice job, Colin. And then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. 24, 25. And then oops, 26. Good, and now we gotta bring it on top of our shoulder. We're starting a brand new combo, ready? 27, 28, bring it to your hip, 29, 30, big catch, 31. Nice job, guys. All right, ready? Last combo, this is one that we just learned. All right, so we let go, 32, 33, turn, Oh, no, sorry, turn this way. Sorry, Hannah, I messed you up. You were right. 31. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that was 34. Punch it out nice and strong. 35. And then 36. 37. 38. Whoops. 39. 40. And what's 41? Who knows? Yes, Colin, good job. Hannah, good job too. 41. All right, team. Give me a big high five. We did all 41 moves. So proud of you. All right, let's do that one more time. Ready? We got 60 seconds. On your mark, get set. Hands up. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead, Colin. Let me see it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. He is flying through this. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Good job, Hannah. And then get ready for your next combo on top of your shoulder. Ready? 27, 28, 29, 30. Big catch. 31. Nice, Hannah. And then 32, 33. And then turn, sorry, turn, 34, 35, 
36, 37. Yep. 38, big catch. 39, 40, and 41. Nice job. Big high fives to everybody. Colin, you all right, bud? Hey, you knocked the, you knocked the screen over, silly goose. All right, very good. So now, like I said, I'm not going to be upset if you guys don't know all 41 moves, but it would be pretty cool to see you guys learn all eight combos and then get 40 whole points extra for your, for your prize. Okay, team? So the more points you get, like the more times you come to class, the more points that you remember for your, I'm sorry, the more moves that you guys remember for the nunchuck combo, the cooler prizes you get. Like the stickers, we got bracelets, we have dog tags. We have t-shirts coming in. It's all very exciting, team. All right, so make sure you guys are being really good at home for next week. Well, this week too, but also next week, because we want to make sure that we get our super awesome stripe on our belt, even though Colin already has it. All right, ready, team? So give me a big high five. All right, hang on. Let me make sure that you guys can hear, or I can hear you. And I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye, Miss Murray. Bye, Bye Miss Murray. Bye. Bye, Hannah. Bye, Hannah. <laughs> Hi guys. Bye, Miss Murray. Bye, Miss Murray. Hi, Anna.